Welcome back sports gamers, it's The Natural with the feature presentation of EA Game Changers. Today I have the latest on NBA Live 19 for you, courtesy of creative director of NBA Live, Connor Dugan, who sat down with me to discuss the latest with NBA Live 19's development and what things we can hope to see in the future from the series. Enjoy. What things did you guys focus on to make sure to make this leap that you made from last year's game to this year's? So yeah, that was something that um, that I was like a little bit concerned about because when 18 came out, it was definitely a big jump over the previous year, year's version. And I wanted to make sure that when we released uh, 19, that there was that same jump in quality. So from a gameplay perspective, it was all about real player motion and trying to get rid of some of the perceived stiffness that's kind of been lingering with, with NBA Live. So we redid like our motion capture pipelines, we did our player skeletons, and then we changed our whole player movement system and upgraded it to real player motion. So the game's a lot smoother than it ever has been, and it's more responsive as well. Um, and the other cool thing about real player motion is that um, there's a lot of signature animation. So LeBron, when LeBron dribbles and moves, it looks like LeBron versus Harden versus Curry versus Kyrie. So that's one of the one of the improvements we made. Um, secondly, one of the things that was uh, fairly well received by our players is our one-on-one -on -one on ball mechanics that we introduced in 18. Um, so we took those mechanics and expanded them to off ball. So especially if you're playing in the one mode, um, player locked, we want to give you more things to do away from the ball. How it works is if you're on defense, you can you know engage with somebody, hold them up, but then the offensive player has a bunch of right stick moves where they can V cut, L cut, push off, spin, try to cut to the goal or push off uh, for an open shot. Um, so now we have like a game within a game away from the ball, which really helps make that one experience that much more um, interesting uh, and more engaging. One of the biggest things that uh, people made a lot of hoopla about, some people were disappointed, me personally, I thought it was a great move uh, by not going to the Frostbite engine along with the other titles like FIFA has previously, Madden. Um, can you talk a little about that that decision and you know, why did you choose to make that decision and, and do you think that it's you know has been a good one? Um, yeah, Frostbite is obviously like a super powerful, super cool engine, uh, but for us, for NBA Live, we wanted to focus on making that core cool game play really well. Uh, and then a transition to Frostbite, you know, sometimes can take a while and I'll take away from our focus to just making great game features. Um, and we felt like with the way the game looks and the way that the game animates right now, um, I think we're happy with the engine that we're on. It's definitely something that we'll, we'll be looking to. One of the big things, uh, like you mentioned, the one, uh, it's a very popular mode for you guys uh, last year. Um, can you talk a little bit about uh, the one this year and how it differs? I think a lot of people who are fans of Madden, they actually prefer something like the one versus what they got with Long Shot. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about the you know new things in the one and also how that kind of contrasts with Long Shot and you know that type of mode as well? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think Long Shot was awesome first of all, but for the one, uh, we wanted to do something different. You know, something different than other games, something different than our competitor. Uh, last year. So this year, uh, the one is going global. So you get to play on these new courts, and you might have checked them out outside where you can play in the Hocina court in Brazil. Uh, that's where like Melo played when he went to uh, the Olympics in 2016, the Tenement court in, in Manila, uh, which is really cool when you guys get to check that one out. And then K54 in, in France, which is the home of the World Streetball Championships. That's happening next week or the week after, where they build out this court. Uh, in the middle of uh, right near the Eiffel Tower so that's that's cool too and then we have some new courts in North America so you'll be able to play in all these different experiences um, the other part from the one from a player progression standpoint our player progression we had traits and you had skills and you can unlock animations and, and gear for your for your player that's still there we've also introduced the icon ability system so you might have you have a whole new skill tree uh, to unlock multiple skill trees so if I'm if I'm a slasher, for example, I can choose between three different icon paths, which is, you know, Allen Iverson, the answer path. And so if I level up that tree, I'm going to get different unique gameplay uh, boosts. Like I'll be able to break people's ankles and I have different choices along that path. Do I want to break ankles or do I want to finish at the basket? Um, and I upgrade those paths or I can switch to the, to the Russell Westbrook path or the Spark, the Candace, Candace Parker path, which all have these different unique abilities. The other thing with the one 
uh, that's brand new. It's not just about you. Now, as you go into World Tour and you expand, um, it's not just about uh, upgrading your player, it's about upgrading your squad. So I can go to Paris and I can play against Russell Westbrook or whomever. If I beat him, I can now equip him and make him part of my squad. So I take the squad with me uh, as I go and I build that up. The other, the last cool piece is what we're doing with our our highlights and our replays. So you might have a highlight, you might dunk on somebody, or you might get dunked on. We're gonna store that off, and they're gonna have different reactions. So last year we had ESPN, we're still gonna be partnering with them, but now we're gonna integrate you into, into those videos. Wow. Um, and then we have some new brands that we're partnering with, we're not quite announcing yet. And then we also have some uh, YouTubers that you might know that'll, that'll be taught, that you'll see the talking head over your highlight talking about you, which is a different take on you know how we wanted to do narrative. Um, and I think it, it'll be like unique and, and different and fun. Yeah, that, that sounds really cool, especially how you guys integrate a lot of the community people and influencers into the game. I think that's been re very well received, mm -hmm. everyone. So obviously, you know, the big elephant in the room, your major competitor is 2K. Um, I think one of the things definitely sets you guys apart is the ease of use to be able to pick up and play without having to memorize 20, 30 different controls. Mm -hmm. um, so can you kind of talk about how the difficulty and making life easy to pick up and play, but at the same time, ensuring that there's enough depth in the gameplay so there's a skill gap between a non-skilled player and uh, you know a higher level type player. Yeah, I mean, I think that's there's a lot to to that. Like you're you're right on in terms of our goal with live. It's got to be easy to pick up and play, and it's got to be fast to the fun. And what that means is like you got to go in the game and you got to see something really cool or experience something really cool without having to know 20 different button combos and spend spend uh, you know a couple weeks on the game. Fast to the fun is always going to be a priority for us, uh, but at the same time we have these new mechanics that are skill based, like the one on one mechanics, the dribble mechanics. There's some moves that you can pull off that are crazy, but you're going to have to have the stick skills. See, the same with our shooting, like you know. People who can catch and shoot and hit that green and can get it off. Some people can do it really well. Some people are just okay. Um, and we want to make a game that is definitely skill-based, uh, where skills win. But we also have to balance that with, you know, making it easy and fun for people to pick up and play. Because when when I want my goal is when people pick up live, they have fun. With it. And I think we're starting to get there for sure. Um, but speaking more towards the skill gap as well, and I know with Madden the big thing is esports this year. Mm -hmm. um, where do you see live going that direction with esports? Do you have anything to announce or talk about? What are your feelings on it? Um, in terms of esports, we're not quite there yet, but I think um, it's definitely something that we're going to be looking at in the future. Would I like live to be uh, have a competitive aspect to it? Absolutely. Um, I don't think it's. I don't think our game's quite there yet in terms of really developing something that is has that competitive skill that uh, skill gap I think we're getting there and I think it's something we're heavily looking for Look another main thing that's uh, kind of different is you guys have the inclusion of the WNBA mm -hmm. uh, last year um, you know how do you feel that that's been a boost for you guys have you noticed um, you know feedback from uh, female gamers or or people uh, you know more apt to pick it up that normally would not pick the game up how's that worked out for you I mean, I think everybody, men and women, love the in integration of uh, WNBA. I even have game changers talking to me about WNBA gameplay and how it's like this and that and it's more fun. And, and so people love that experience in terms of bringing new people. Like, yeah, it's cool to, if you have like a, a daughter, uh, like, and they pick up the game and they can play with their favorite players that, you know, aren't men that are in the WNBA, I think that's awesome. You know, and, and um, like we're really excited to have that integration. So what do you feel are um, some things, it was some cool features you guys added later during the year and uh, patch and update. Um, is there anything you could talk about coming in the future uh, later on or even in the future in the game that you gotta have real mapped out that you guys, major things, that something that you could talk about right. coming in the future for live? So we definitely can't talk about specifics, but like you said, last year we didn't stop. As soon as as soon as we shipped, we had more content coming out with live strike, live events, you know, some enhancements to edit player or the addition of edit player. I think players can expect the same same type of live service and enhancements. Uh, one major announcement um, on the Madden side uh, was Madden on PC this year, and a lot of people 
didn't even believe it when it first came out because it's been so long since it's been on the PC. Uh, can you see live coming to the PC at some point in the future? I would love to see it come to come to the PC in the future. You know, I'd be most excited about all the mods that people would. It would be crazy. It'd be so cool. Um, so definitely something me personally, I'd love to see it uh, on PC. It's not something that's going to happen uh, in nineteen, but it's something we'll definitely look look to uh, in the future. All right, cool. I appreciate you taking the time, uh, chatting with us. Uh, always great and uh, guys make sure you go ahead and check out live it's uh, definitely a big jump this year oh, appreciate it thank you thank you fellas everyone really hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you drop a like and if you love our content here at SGO subscribe and turn those notifications on so you don't miss the latest from all of your favorite sports games this is the natural sports gamers online.com I'm out never never sold her got the guava soda i would never fold this saying yeah they told her you the up on phone rock on like a boulder all that make do not the most i got the plug call i get a hundred call you stand in and tell on the next you got for 100 dollars